the MSI Summit E16 Flip. They say it's a business laptop, but can it be more? Let's take a look. Yo, what up YouTube? Crash Wilcox, and today we are taking a look at the MSI Summit E16 Flip. This comes from MSI's business class of laptops. So inside their business class of laptops, they sort of have the, the, um, the Summit, the Modern, and the Prestige, with the Summit sort of being their premium business laptop, and then the Modern and the Prestige, I'm not sure which one is the budget and which one is the, um, the mid-range sort of laptop, but this is the premium. With this laptop, I'm gonna do this kind of the way I normally do laptop reviews. We'll kind of talk about what this is, you know, pricing, specs, um, all that sort of stuff. And then we'll get into the benchmarks, you know, the synthetic, some gaming stuff, cause we're all human. And, uh, and then we'll come back with my final thoughts on this laptop. So what this laptop is, um, like I mentioned, it comes from their business lineup of laptops, but we'll just take a look at the outside first. So looking up here first, we'll start with the screen because it's on top. Um, this comes with a 1080p, 30 FPS webcam, um, which you can see on the screen what that looks like. Really nice to include in that, you know, that's nice that laptops are starting to do that today. Um, the screen, beautiful screen, over 500 nits of brightness, but it's a 165 hertz refresh rate, 2K screen. And I mean, you can see, let me turn this brightness up. It gets bright and it's 100% DCI-P3, very color accurate screen. So if content creation is what you're doing, this is a wonderful laptop for, uh, for that. It's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which is awesome for content creation. Um, and then not to mention, it is touchscreen, which again, is very nice. If you are into graphic design or you just like having the touch capability. And as the name Flip um, would indicate, it's a convertible, two in one. So that is a wonderful thing as well. Moving down um, to the, let's check out the ports. So, on this side, you have an HDMI 2.0. You have two Thunderbolt 4 ports, which are both, uh, you know, full Thunderbolt 4 capabilities. So power delivery, um, you know, display out, all that stuff. It has a webcam on off switch, which is a really nice thing to include. Coming around to the other side, you've got USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A ports, two of them, which is really nice. Micro SD card and your universal headphone audio or your microphone jack. So that is really nice. Um, moving inside the laptop. So well, on the back here, I didn't open it up because I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm sending it back. So I didn't wanna open it up and break the factory seal, but I did confirm with MSI that the DDR5 RAM is soldered on. So you can't upgrade it, but this model does come with 32 gigs of RAM. And it also has a single M.2 slot. So, you know, you can upgrade the, uh, the single drive, but you can't add another one. But as you can see, the speeds on this thing are really good. So I don't know if you need to really be worried about upgrading that SSD, unless you just want to get a bigger one. The speeds are fantastic on this. Um, in addition to that, it has the uh, Intel i7 1260P, which is Intel's um, low power option for CPUs, but it is still a 12 core 16 thread CPU. So it has those four power cores plus eight efficiency cores, um, which is really good. And then as you can see, it's got the RTX there. So it does have an RTX 3050 Ti, which is great in a, in a laptop like this. So what I wanted to sort of do here with this laptop was, you know, because in that $2,000 price range, when you're talking about business laptops, 
you know, I think a natural comparison there would probably lead you to a $2,000 MacBook. Uh, and that puts you in the 14 inch MacBook Pro range. So that's what you're gonna see in sort of some of the pictures, sort of looking at, you know, keyboard size, trackpad size, the screen um, size, overall laptop size, and then sort of the comparisons in the, the different benchmarks. Because I think, you know, like I said, if you're comparing $2,000 laptops, obviously if you're a Windows guy, you're getting Windows. But if you're open to just what the best value is, then I think these benchmarks will help you. Oh, and I did forget to mention, it does have a fingerprint reader here, um, kind of off to the side. I don't know if you can see that, but it does include a fingerprint reader there. So we'll go ahead and dive into the benchmarks and then I'll come back with sort of my pros and cons and final thoughts on this laptop. So I hope you found those useful. Um, if the benchmark that you were hoping to see wasn't in there, I apologize. But I think I sort of covered the gambit there. So what are some of the pros on this laptop? First off, build quality is fantastic. This solid, you know, aluminum construction feels really good. The lid or the, uh, the hinge feels really solid. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. The screen is pretty rigid. Uh, so just overall build quality is great. Size, I mean, you can see it's barely bigger than the 14-inch MacBook Pro, and it weighs the same as the 16-inch MacBook Pro, right about 4.6 pounds. So it's very lightweight for as big as this thing is. I mean, it's a pretty large laptop at 16 inches. It is bigger than it feels, right, than it seems, because it is 16 inches and that screen is big. But when you're holding it and carrying it, it's relatively lightweight. It's thin, easy to carry around, so that's a huge pro. And just what is packed in here, 165 hertz refresh rate screen is awesome. Very color accurate is great. 1080p webcam is awesome. The CPU, GPU combo works really well because this is Intel's low power CPU um, with NVIDIA's more low power discrete GPU. So you're still getting a lot of power and a lot of cores, 
but you're also not getting a lot of fan noise and a lot of heat necessarily. Um, well, we'll come back to the heat, but yeah, so they, I think they pair well together for what they are. The IO is also great. Two Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI 2.0 is good enough. Um, and then the USB-A being 3.2 Gen 2 is great. Um, and then having SD card slot at all is really nice. It'd be better if it was full size, but it is what it is, right? Yeah, there's a lot of pros for this. As far as cons, I mean, you, I'm not sure if you can see on here, it's a fingerprint magnet, which sucks with laptops that are this well built and this sort of pretty to look at, if you will, um, to have it just smudged up with fingerprints is kind of a big downer, but that is what it is when you're talking about black laptops. Um, another, oh, and I forgot to mention in pros, it's touchscreen. That's fantastic if you're into touchscreen laptops. One of the negatives for me, and again, this is personal, is the keyboard. I don't like it personally. I mean, it's not bad. All keyboards nowadays are good, but I don't like it as much as other keyboards I've tried. So the keys, and it's hard to sort of describe, but they feel a little mushy to me. They don't have that sort of snap that you would, you know, you're used to from like a MacBook Pro, for example. A little more mushy on the key there. The keys also feel a little bit small to me, and that's probably because they crammed in a, a number, uh, the 10 key number pad over here. So that's a pro and a, a con as well, right? Because if you want the numpad, you got it. Uh, but the trade-off with that is you got smaller, a little more cramped keys. I mean, you can see how small the number pad is even compared to the normal keys. So pro and con there, I'm not a big fan of it, but that's that. The trackpad is a pro because it's huge. It's very accurate. Um, I mean, much like a MacBook, you don't need to have a, a mouse to get yourself around for the day. Uh, and I like that it's centered. You know, sometimes you see these sort of off-centered. That's a huge pain, I don't like it. But it's also being centered with a numpad. It pushes the keyboard off-center, so you can see how it's not perfectly lined up with the space bar. And it's just a weird feel. I think you'd get used to it in time, but it is a bit bizarre. I didn't like it when I was using it to type with. And yeah, I mean, each person's gonna be different. Also with the trackpad here, it's a glass top trackpad, feels good, but it's very slick. You know, whereas like the MacBook Pro has almost like a little bit of a texture to their trackpad. This is just very smooth. So if you like that, it's great. I'm not a big fan of it. It feels very slippery. Uh, but it's accurate. So if your hand's slipping, it's moving, you know, so it's not inaccurate. It's just a weird, it's a different feel if you, you don't like that. So that's something to keep in consideration. Oh, and the fingerprint reader, it doesn't work. Just assume you don't have one. It's there. It doesn't work. I think I have maybe a 5% success rate. Uh, so just assume it doesn't work. It's just there for looks. That's about it for cons. Um, so all in all, my final thoughts here on this laptop. You know, when I first started using it, I was a bit underwhelmed. I was like, ah, man, I don't know. I mean, the Cinebench score is kind of low. Ugh, you know, it wasn't my favorite. But then as I started actually like looking at benchmark comparisons to the MacBook and running some few other programs, I really turned around. I love this laptop. I think for $2,000, which is what this model is, and that comes with the 1260p, RTX 3050, uh, TI, 32 gigs of RAM, and a one terabyte SSD, I think it's awesome. You know, I think at this point now, if I was just coming into this fresh and I needed a business laptop that also allowed me to do content creation, plus play some games and stuff like that, I'd take this over a MacBook Pro any day of the week. Um, I think it's awesome. I think sort of the power portability aspect is really, it really turned me around. I think I came to really appreciate it. Um, the GPU in here is a 40 watt RTX 3050 Ti, but because of the wizardry of DLSS, it almost doesn't matter, right? As long as you have a GPU that can access DLSS, you can game, right? 60 FPS on Cyberpunk is crazy. Now you're gonna lose some graphical, you know, uh, performance there, 
but who cares, right? Because you're playing the game and that's what matters. Now, if you're playing things like free to play eSport type titles, it's gonna do that wonderfully all day. And it's gonna do it relatively quietly. Just all in all, it really turned me around. The IO on this is great. The screen is great. Build quality is great. The few cons, I think you'd get used to. The trackpad, you'd get used to it. It's nice, it just feels weird, right? The key, keyboard is nice, it's just not my style. I'd get used to it. Um, and then, you know, it does also include the MSI pen. I forgot to mention, I didn't open it because again, I don't know that I'm keeping it. But again, if you're into graphic design, dude, it's, it's awesome that this is included. And it's touch screen, it's convertible. So is this just a business laptop? No, I think you could very easily run a podcast from this. You could run a vlog. You could do, uh, you know, conference calls, uh, whatever it is with this. I mean, you could set a mic up next to it and feel confident that it's, the fans aren't gonna be blaring and overriding your voice in this. It's not that loud. And it's just all in all, I think Intel and Nvidia their products matching up together in this laptop worked out really well. And then just the overall build quality, MSI did a wonderful job in this. You know, I think if you're in the market for $2,000 sort of content creation business with a little bit of gaming and fun on the side, I don't know that you could go find something much better than this Summit E16 Flip. This is a fantastic laptop. I'll have links to it down in the uh, description. Those are, you know, there'll probably be an Amazon affiliate link down there. If you use that, it would help the channel. I'd certainly appreciate it. You don't have to buy this laptop. You could buy, you know, some protein powder and chips. I don't really care what it is, but it would support the channel and I'd appreciate it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna be holding on to this one. So I don't know how, how deep I can go down the rabbit hole with you on this, but just, this product and then more of these specs, right? The, 12, six, uh, the 1260p, I'm impressed with it. The RTX 3050 Ti, we obviously know what that is and it's a, a good enough graphics card. I hope you guys found this useful. I'm trying to think of any other things that I can tell you about it. It's great. Um, I think you'd enjoy it, so go pick it up if you're in the, in the market for a new laptop. Otherwise, Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're feeling spunky. I'd appreciate that as well. Till next time, God bless.